morning students just want to do a quick demo i'll cover this with all three sessions and i'm just trying to educate you everything's fine uh, i just want to give you a reminder that i need students to log off because here it is before school really starts in the morning and as i came in this morning i could see that these three workstations are not active but they haven't logged off and this one someone still had their work up so i'm just going to retrain everybody on how you finish up in a remote session. I'm gonna simulate that I've remoted in by taking control of this workstation. And just for fun, uh, I made sure it's still active. I've got a piece of geometry in here that I added. A student can later remove it if they want to. I uh, just wanted to make sure I could demonstrate how to do a file, save or save as. And to make sure when you do so, and this student has done this property, properly, make sure you're selecting the H drive to save your work. Why? Because the H drive will be available if you work on a different workstation on a following session and you can still get your work. If you were to save it on the desktop or the C drive, you won't find the files. In fact, those are subject to being removed. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to click on save just to demonstrate the process. It's letting me know that it already is there. And yes, I'm going to override it. Now I'm done working in 3ds Max for the time being. The next step would be to exit any applications you have open. On this screen, this is where I need students to log off from the machines. To do so, you're going to select the start button on the remote machine. Now note that there's also a start button on my machine. So pay attention to which one you're grabbing. Grab the one on the remote machine you'll see an icon that looks like a person and your name should show up when you hover over it. By clicking on that, you'll get an option to do a sign out. This is the part I need students to attend to, is sign out of the machines when they're done. At that point, this machine is no longer in use. If I were to look in my splash top, I will see that 04 is gonna change from something that's in use to something that's available. I've, the star indicates I've connected to it in the past. It no longer has a green circle around it indicating that it's in use. What I'd like to do in the morning is select all of the workstations, and actually restart them so that they're fresh. The result here would be that if students do not have their work saved, their work is lost. So there, that's, it's a planned, I guess, a. Uh, Planned reset, I guess, is a good way to look at it. So that in the morning, when people do want to connect, they've got the machines available. So as a, in summary, make sure that you do the following. These are highlighted as steps in the instructions as well, but I'm just going to bullet point it rather than take the risk of the, those instructions being overwhelming. Make sure you save all your work on your H drive. Now, I, I and you can see your H drive. The name of that drive might be confusing. It's called uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as a drive name. When you look on the Explorer, File Explorer, I should say, but it is also mapped as the H drive. Now, your H drive can be organized with folders. I suggest you do that. The next thing is, once you've saved your work on the H drive, is to close any and all applications you were using. The next important thing is to log off of the workstation you we're using. If you have any questions, Please ask. Thank you.